Hello everyone and welcome back to my single player series where I build and experiment with building. As you can see, this whole thing is finished that we started in the previous episode. I'm just missing towers left and right, but in this episode we're gonna deal with that problem as well as placing some farms left and right all over this place. It's almost night time, so I better go sleep. Here we have the first layout of the tower. Um, I'm not sure it's gonna stay like that, but we need to connect this platform to that platform over there through this middle part. And I'm probably gonna just copy the design and on the floor right there, I'm gonna be placing some kind of planks, maybe spruce planks. Also, I need doors right here so I can get inside and climb upstairs. So maybe a door here. Also, this needs to go up a bit just to match the whole design. It looks good. I like the color palette and everything. So, yeah, let's get started on with this. The first platform is finished. As you can see, it's a very, a very flat. So we are going to keep on extending these guys right over here. Then we have this platform. Probably going to place some kind of oak fence here just to uh, oops <laughs> maybe another row of slabs across across here yep let's raise these so we can see that difference very nice okay now we can go here and here directly or down here and as you can see it's a nice room that we can exit the courtyard or go downstairs into the basement area. I'm probably gonna decorate this place a little bit more with a... Uh, can I select these fences? Thank you. Uh, something like this probably will go here. What's, what's the level of that? Right here, corresponding. Nicely done. Okay, let's double that. And if I do it on this side, can I? Yes, I can. I can do it on this side. All right, all right. It's not gonna block the entrance down there. Okay, um, now I'm gonna go plan what I'm going to do with the top area, but probably gonna make it open. Mm, or maybe not. Maybe some kind of windows that can look on the outside, but make them a block wide. Probably like if this is going to be a wall, then we're gonna have a wall here and a wall here. I think that's tall enough. So if we stand here, we can take a look outside. Nicely done, nicely done, okay? But on the outside, I'm probably gonna have to decorate it a little bit more because that looks a little bit flat few details here and there, like this archway that it's going to take us inside, a huge pillar in the middle. <laughs> Not very fat, but it's getting there. And we have this roof made out of slabs entirely, another arch. And I'm gonna stop here because I have no idea what to do uh, with a second story. But for now, this serves a purpose. Later, probably off screen, I'm gonna copy this design to the other side over there. But for now, I need to flatten this area and probably seal this hole. Midway trying to flatten this area out, my second shovel broke, so <laughs> I'm gonna give it a rest for now. And I'm gonna go down here and explore a little bit. Uh, it's kind of pretty dark, so let's light up what... Oh, oh, a spawner. Uh, what kind of uh, skeleton spawner? Okay, okay, I can take that. No chest though. I don't think I've ever seen a spawner with no chest in it. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, we can have a mob farm here. Yeah. I mean, I do need to set up a proper enchanting area. I, I've started it a few episodes ago. Uh, I'm missing uh, bookshelves, so maybe that's the next project on my list. I was thinking about this spawner, 
and the first thing that popped in my head was let me dig a hole <laughs> and just open it all the way to the sky axis because I would really like to have a look at this spawner from the up above and probably create some kind of standing platform here with glass and then have a building similar to this building style where I can get inside and see the spawner activate and then mobs probably be shot from yeah from one of these sides through the uh, water stream up in the air and then drop it back down to receive the damage so we can uh, kill them with one shot <laughs> or something like that uh, still work in progress still work in progress now um, while I'm thinking about how exactly I'm gonna do that I'm probably probably gonna leave this hole open and start working on some kind of a design here for the farms since this is a flat area I was thinking of maybe placing um, some kind of platform, you know, that classic vanilla style that they had, that they had with the uh, with wooden logs, something like something like this, and then dirt here and here, and then water in the middle, something like that, something classical, something simple that can serve my purpose of feeding me, <laughs> so I don't starve while I'm running around and building here. I really did go with the vanilla style of the farm, so I'm just gonna go ahead and place a water bucket here and here for now. I'm gonna turn all of that into water sources, so don't worry. Uh, also, I brought with me, uh, where are you? Stone hole. There we go. So we're gonna tilt all of this land. We're gonna plant probably carrots and potatoes on this piece of land but then what I had in mind was actually getting fences here and getting this part of the the farm up in the air so that's one two three oh that's a problem <laughs> anyway three and then going across like this, blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna fill it entirely with these. Now, what I would like to know is, I have a plan with these fences, don't you worry. Um, they're a bit low, aren't they? <laughs> I'm gonna have to extend at least these middle, uh, middle ones up a block in the air so I can walk normally because I was planning on placing a lantern to hang from uh, every third I guess so what I'm gonna have here is randomly placed bushes and I'm gonna combine oak leaves with spruce leaves to get a little bit of variation in in the block color so something like this occasional hole because why not there we go of course these are going to extend to this side as well and connect with these not all the way because I'm gonna have them like this and like this okay and then here as well and maybe skip one block instead of two where is my stone axe so we're gonna remove this one and go uh, like so nice this is gonna look nice this is gonna look nice so let me finish this and hopefully the leaf blocks above the water here will stop it from freezing I've planted all of the crops that I need now let me just convert these into nuggets get the lanterns going and they're so expensive <laughs> anyways here I guess one and one over here then we can get maybe like one two three 
four, five, right? Uh, one, two, three, four, five here. Okay, that looks that looks rather all right. So I did extend these fences up a block, so I can jump and <laughs> move around. Um, I think that on this side there are potatoes and here we have carrots, which is quite nice. It looks vanilla and in the same t time it's not, but I like the design here. It looks a bit plain, maybe I can change it in a later stage, but for now it looks good. Um, the other thing that I have in my chests that I found were the raspberry bushes. So I'm gonna try and see if I can get some kind of farm design similar to this one. With these raspberry or sweet berry bushes, I wanted to go as simple as possible. And since they can hurt a player when you step on them, like that, yeah. Oops, uh, why am I st stuck suddenly? <laughs> uh, let me see if I can harvest. So I got 36, right click, N not nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna die soon <laughs> if I continue doing it like that. Okay, uh, they can, can shoot. Yeah, this is, this is the problem. We are in the pre-release 2 of the 1.14 update and it's a bit laggy. Everything seems patchy, especially since I've cut down these trees here and leaves are decaying. So it's kind of making the game twitch a little bit. Yep, I have designed something a little bit smaller than that one with a water stream in middle here. So when I take my seeds, they're going to be here and here. And the way I'm gonna walk on top of these is probably trapdoors, because the slabs are a little bit too high. Let me demonstrate here. So if I take these slabs, look at this. The transition is too, too high for any kind of visual satisfaction. So I'm not even gonna have enough seats. And it's a nighttime, so mobs will be spawning around here because this place is not properly lit up. Let me go sleep and let me go get a little bit more seeds. And uh, I do have lanterns on me. Good, good, good. I grabbed some of the items that I think I'm gonna need. So let me get the seeds first inside. Um, when I was running around, I found the original farm in this village and it had something that I completely forgot about. The composter. <laughs> I gotta find a location for that composter and I think it's gonna be here somewhere in the middle okay like right here. One of the final things that I need to craft is the composter. There we go I still have some fences left let me see what's the recipe for that three oak planks and some fences. How many can I get? Three of them. Okay, good. I think that's gonna be enough. Uh, also, I've changed this farm design because walking through the middle caused a lot of pain and a lot of damage to my armor. So right here I can stand next to the uh, fences and I can easily gather... Oh. Well... Almost. <laughs> How do I get that one? Let me try from this side. No. 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 Okay, some of them are bound to be lost. <laughs> eh. uh, a lot of pain. <laughs> well, this is not exactly an ideal farm, but, you know, it looks pretty. That's why we're here. To make look things look pretty, to build them pretty. Come on. There we go. I've collected all of them. Nice. I just need to place in composters. And I'm not sure if these farms need composters at all. But I'm going to place them either way. If I'm not mistaken, these composters design certain, certain villagers to be farmers or something like that. 
at this very moment, I've got only nine pumpkin seeds and nine melon seeds. I forgot to bring more from the first base underneath that in glue from the first episode. So I'm gonna do with those. I've placed a bush right over here so this water won't freeze. So I have a tilted soil. So let's work with that what we have. So, oh, no, not that one. This one and that one. All right. Uh, extending it like so and here as well checkered pattern because we're gonna mix and match um, pumpkins and melons like for example if this is going to be the row for pumpkins so that's that one middle one and the last one and rows in the middle in between them are gonna be for for pumpkins right no melons this one is pumpkin this one is melon pumpkin melon pumpkin okay um i still have three of each ah that's fine for now that's fine for now i can always expand this farm let's see like this something like that yeah and we can get four access points into this farm just like that so that's one two three and four so this platform needs expanding i think that this randomly placed bushes on top of a certain structure that i have no idea how i built <laughs> something along these lines uh, try to get some kind of support uh, legs upwards and then I just did uh, a squarish design and here I plan on placing a lantern to provide you're joking right oh man where's my lantern <laughs> Okay, let's try and place a block. Maybe it's gonna come back to my hand. Nope, it's not. Great, I just lost a lantern. Well, I did fix the issues with the lantern. Uh, these guys are growing, so we can just run around and harvest them like this, um, which is quite good. Also, I forgot to place one of these for this farm. Anyway, I like the design. Uh, in between, for the pathways, I'm gonna use um, these andesite slabs because I think they're awesome and quite good looking and I'm gonna combine them probably with the smooth stone slabs and maybe some uh, cobblestone slabs or something like that I, I'm not sure I'm gonna I'm gonna see about that uh, in a little while probably off the camera but something something like that something like that and it's gonna go all around the farm creating uh, unspawnable perimeter so that's that for this episode uh, still gotta copy this over there in the corner and do a little bit of planning for the said citadel that is probably gonna go right there it's not gonna be like a full size citadel more like a main building for this village also i need to go and study the behavior of the new village villages because I have no idea how they work. Also, these guys stumbled in here, so I just captured them. It's going to be a nice wool farm in the future. Anyways, I'll see you in the next episode with more of the building ideas and experiments like this one.